There's Molly and Max and Susie and Flash and the elegant Countess de Cone. They travel the world, but they seldom go out. Well, how can this be? You're about to find out. Stay for some tea, meet the whole family. You're certain to find them at home. Interesting, Susie? Uh, not just the same old stuff. What are you looking for, Molly? Anything new and interesting, Flash. We're bored with the same old stuff. Wait a minute. What can you see? Nothing. I'm too low. Oh, well, I'll soon fix that. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's better. Uh, guess what? We've got a new car! Now stand back until I give it the once-over. Fresh batteries. That's good. Oh, check out this electric motor. Oh, with a motor that size, this little beauty could clock 10 kilometres an hour. Easy. Oh, pity we've only got a bathroom speed limit of 5 kilometres an hour. Uh, what kind of car is it? A Thunderclap sports convertible. Toy model, of course. Note the flaring tail lights. They're a Thunderclap trademark. Oh, I've always dreamed of sitting behind the wheel of a sports car. I, I don't suppose anyone would mind. But, Flash, you don't know how to drive. I don't want to drive it. I just want to sit behind the wheel. I suppose it's OK. I can't see any buttons or levers or switches or anything, so you can't start it accidentally. Thank you, Susie. Hi! Real plastic seats! I think Flash wants to race. He'd make an excellent racing car driver if he lost some weight and learned to drive. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Did you see that? I don't believe it! was Max all the time. Max stopped you crashing into us. Oh, sorry, Max. <laughs> Susie and I thought these buttons were seats. It was only accidental, Flash. We didn't do it on purpose. Yeah, but that's beside the point. You weren't in the car. It was the most terrifying ride of my life. I know how this mix-up occurred. This is a remote control. It's a remote control sports car. We've never had one of these in our bathroom before. Yipes! Hmm, a remote control. That means you can drive the car without having to sit in it. I like that. Oh, th that's not fair, Flash. I haven't had a go yet. And, and now you can wait till I finish my go, Susie. Hey, 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 no arguing. There's enough time for everyone to have a go. Anyway, Max was the best driver of the lot of us. Is that so? Think you can drive us around the bathroom floor without bumping into anything? Then let's try out the sports car. Hooray! <laughs> <sighs> this is the life. Oh, careful, Max. Whee! There's Molly and Max and Susie and Flash and the elegant Countess de Cone. They travel the world, but they seldom go out. Well, how can this be? You're about to find out. Stay for some tea, meet the whole family. You're certain to find them at home.
flower? Oh, the first flower of the year. It also means spring is here and we'll have lots of spring-filled days. No pushing or shoving or touching or sniffing. Moonflowers are very, very shy. We just want to look at it, Susie. We'll be careful. I adore flowers, don't you? I love the colours and all those pretty petals. Then you'll really adore this flower, Countess. Oh! Oh. Oh. Hi! Where's the flower? The moonflower only flowers at night when the moon is out. Daylight is too bright. Oh, how sweet. The moonflower is even shy of bright light. We'll have to come back tonight to see its flower. I'm sure that what Susie's got there is a weed and not a moonflower. Weeds are nasty things. They'll take over the entire bathroom if you let them. Hmm. We'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> the moonflower must have flowered by now. It is a weed. Wait till the moon shines on it. Then you'll see. Look, something's happening. See? It is a moonflower. <gasps> oh, look at the bloom. It's pale like the moon. It bloomed again. It's a full moon. Oh, we'll probably get lots of blooms tonight. Ooh, this window sill's getting a bit crowded. Oh, oh. I suggest we watch the moonflower from the vanity unit. I also suggest we hurry. <laughs> Quick! The toothbrush house! We'll be safe there! <laughs> Is that moonflower still following us? It's OK, Flash. It's staying down in the vanity unit. Then we can enjoy the moonflower from way up here where it's safe. <laughs> hey, cut that out! <laughs> Stop tickling! <laughs> ah! It's the moonflower! Ah! It's a shower recess. It, it's our only chance. Susie, we've got to stop at the moonflower. We'll have to wait for daylight. Daylight? The moonflower will have taken over the whole house by then. Any bright light will do. Anyone got a bright light? Max has got a bright idea, Flash. What about the pencil toy? I'm all for bright ideas tonight. It's working! Take that, Moonflower! And that! 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 And that. That's the moonflower problem solved. Oh, All right. Hey. But there's bound to be another full moon tonight. The moonflower won't try anything while we've got our handy pencil torch. The bathroom is safe. Somehow I don't think so, Flash. No! <laughs> no weeds! What's wrong with weeds? They're even worse than moonflowers! <laughs> There's Molly and Max and Susie and Flash and the elegant Countess de Cone. They travel the world, but they seldom go out. Well, how can this be? You're about to find out. Stay for some tea, meet the whole family. You're certain to find them at home. Jerry! Let's join them! Yahoo! 
Now we have to search every pocket. Here's a pocket. Let's see what we can find. Oh, no, move back, Max. I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> ah. What? Nothing. Aww. Well, you don't find treasure in every pocket. Sometimes we search through all the washing and don't find any treasure at all. That's why it's treasure. It's very rare. Oh. Let's try this pocket. Ah, I found something this time. What is it, Flash? It's a marble. We don't find many of these. It's so shiny. Max has found a pocket. Go on, Max. You search for the treasure this time. <laughs> Max doesn't want to, but I will. <gasps> I found something. It's a coin. That's real treasure. That's worth a lot. How much? This coin's worth... one coin, I'd say. Then what's the marble worth? A marble must be worth... one marble. That much. Let's split up and search all the pockets. Happy treasure hunting! Hooray! <laughs> It's been a good haul of treasure this laundry day, Susie. The best we've ever had. Where's Molly and Max? Searching the last pocket. We'll save them for the last load. I hope they find something. There's a treasure in here, Max. It's stuck. Help me pull. This load is really heavy, Susie. Molly and Max must have found a lot of treasure. <sighs> Molly! Max! Help! Uh-oh. Bubblegum. We'd better get you two toothbrushes cleaned up. <laughs> You're nearly free. <laughs> Come on, Susie. No more pull. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to it. Now, just how did I manage that? Pity the treasure Max and I found was so gooey and messy. Well, there's a lot of other treasure here. It's been a very good washing day. Do we get to keep it? It's not our treasure. We leave it here for whoever it belongs to. But we can play with it in the meantime. That's why washing day is so exciting. <laughs> 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 There's Molly and Max and Susie and Flash and the elegant Countess de Cone. They travel the world, but they seldom go out. Well, how can this be? You're about to find out. Stay for some tea, meet the whole family. You're certain to find them at home. Phew. Ooh, this is certainly a hot day, Flash. That's the hottest day I can ever remember. I'm turning on the fan. It'll cool us down in no time. There, as cool as cool. It's cool, all right. It's so cool, it's snowing. That's strange. It's not supposed to snow on the hottest day ever. Oh, no! Uh, the soap powder's being blown all over the place. Uh, I'll have to turn off the fan. I didn't realise there was so much soap powder in one of those bags. It must have been the super giant family size. Oh, where's Max? Oh, no, Max! Oh, no! 
<laughs> Snowballs, eh? <laughs> hey! Oh, oh, that's not fair. There's two on one. Oh, I surrender. Max, we won. Now, we've got to shovel all this soap powder back into the packet. But there's so much of it. Where's the soap powder packet? Where's the bathroom? Oh, well, we have to get out of this snow or we're going to be very cold and chilly. Follow me. Hi! Oh, you can't even walk on this snow. It's too soft. We need skis. We won't find any skis around here. <laughs> Show off. I think using skis is a very bad idea. Why? I can't ski. Now, tell me again. What do you do? Just lean forward and follow us. Lean forward and follow me. Sounds easy enough. I like skiing. That wasn't skiing, Flash. That was rolling and avalanching. It was still fun. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> it wasn't fun for me. I was having a lovely sunbake on the hottest day of the year until you all arrived with your snow. It blew out of the soap powder packet when Flash turned on the fan. There it is. We'd better shovel all the snow back in before we all freeze. But it's not my snow. You don't want to freeze, do you, Susie? But I didn't even get to have any fun. Yes, that's not fair, Flash. Can't we all play in the snow a little longer before we start shoveling? Mm, all right. A little longer, but not too long. <laughs> I like snow falling. I'm starting to get the hang of it. Oh! oh. <laughs> Oh, I love the snow. But we're starting to get cold, Flash. Perhaps it's time to get our hot day back. Then let's get shoveling. There. That's the last of the snow. We're finished. We must have shoveled all the snow in the whole wide world. Oh, and I'm cold and exhausted. Well, let's sit on the windowsill and soak up the rest of the sun. The perfect end to a perfect day in the snow. I wonder if it'll be as hot tomorrow as it was today. We'll never be bothered by the heat again. We've got our own snow-making machine. Ah, this bathroom's got everything. What a wonderful place to live. Max and I are green. <laughs> <laughs>